All right, tally ho there champs and welcome to the show. Now the Surface Pro has been announced and yes, it's just called the Surface Pro now. It's what we think of the Surface Pro 5. It's the new version of the Surface Pro and here's what you need to know. Starts at $799 US or $1,119 in Australia. That's the Core M version with the 4 gigabytes RAM. You don't want the Core M version. If you want a decent version, the i5 with the 8 gigabytes of RAM costs $1,299 US or 2000 Australian so it is a bit pricey they say they have 800 enhancements to this and yeah queue up the jokes is it fonts or something like that so it's supposed to be smaller and lighter it's not much it's only a few grams there it has the cabby lake processors in it and what's important here is if you get the i7 you get the iris model which means you get the iris graphics which is like 20 percent faster than the normal hd graphics after 16 gigabytes of ram it's supposed to be quieter has an lte chip i don't know if that's an option or not 13.5 hours battery life so it's nearly double the battery life of the Surface Pro 4. So that might be one reason you want to upgrade. Windows Hello, high resolution webcam there. So you can use the webcam for Windows Hello. An improved kickstand. So you can use it like the Surface Studio. You can push it down. So that's a good thing. And it has a new pen. Now this is something that had to happen. 496 levels of pressure sensitivity. So it's going to be much better. And you can use it on the side. You can sort of tilt it to use it shady and of course you can use it with the dial the keyboards now you have the option of alcantara keyboards and they're going to cost more than the standard ones and of course you have to actually pay for the keyboard those prices i mentioned before do not include the keyboard and i believe the pen is a separate purchase too i think you get a normal pen with it but if you want the new pen you're going to have to cough up a hundred dollars i think and it also has an enhanced display and it has better sound so that's all you need to know about the new surface pro if i find any more of those 800 improvements or whatever i'll let you know it still only has one usb type a port there so yeah i don't know what's going on there i guess it works with their dock i don't know but anyway it looks like a decent improvement there i'd like to thank you guys for watching if you like this video give me a thumbs up there if you're not around here why not subscribe and until next time guys tally ho